it may be only a few people in the country where his God hand is facing the basket. Most people's God hands is here. Right. And so when they shoot the ball, they need a God hand like this. But when Twan shoots it, it got, his God hand goes to the front. But I mean, those numbers are surreal at the end of the day and just still now I still, I probably won't feel this till after my college career is over or probably later on down the line. But that's a lot of points and a lot of threes made. I used to watch his dribbling videos a lot in middle school. I used to, um, when he used to pound the ball through his legs real hard. He ain't trying to pass no ball. But once he picks it up, we can kind of like drift out now. You gotta wall up and keep him off the boards too. You gotta look like that, that's for we live, but. Like on this screen, gotta be up there. Make them see two. Make them see two. And he played college basketball for four years, being 154. And can you imagine a player at 154? He came here at 142. So the the, the do the things he done at that size and not being wiry strong, but being weak, it tells you about how skilled he is and how much he's put time in, into his skill set. I know his best basketball is ahead of him because, number one, he's a great teammate. I had an official tell me last year after one of our games, he said, your son is a really good basketball player, amazing basketball player, but I've never seen a player celebrate his teammates' success more than he does his own. And NBA is a goal for me. I mean, it's been a dream. I mean, obviously, if the NBA isn't the path that God wants me to have, then I would love to play overseas. And if not, then I want to be just like a skills development coach and teach players 